and we back. And shit, y'all see I still got on the same clothes as yesterday and shit, because I ain't even got up. I'm recording this right after the my episode of the More Life Podcast and shit. Let's get into Let's Talk Sports. Oh, he broke his ankles. Now he's got an entourage. And he's got a touchdown. Uh, so what's up? Shit back here again. Apologies. I missed Sunday episode where I was going to get my picks and shit for the Sunday games. But, man, I was tore the fuck up and shit. Tore up. But we feeling better today, though. We back at it. Um, so let's get into it. We're going to start it with NFL shit. Because, you know. NFL season, that's all it is over here, baby. Uh, NFL news, so let's go ahead and go over the winners from Sunday. Let's see who won on Sunday. And I was so in and out of it, man. Like, shit. I was watching that Bengals, though, and the Bucks at the same time and shit. I was, the Bengals had me going because, bro, they was they was getting it in shit. Like, they know how to draw the ball down the field. And then the Bucks were straight, too. And I'm happy I fell asleep towards the end because I seen the Bucks motherfucking lost their OT. They lost to the bum-ass Browns 23-17. to I could see if Deshaun Watson had came back because he didn't come back this week. They going to wait till next week. They said they wanted to give him another week of uh, catching up on everything, practicing. I could see if he was back there. Y'all let Jacoby Brissett beat y'all? Come on, Tom Brady. This used to be your backup. You let your backup beat you, boy? Man. <sighs> unforgivable. That's unforgivable. But what else? Bengals, speaking of them. They beat the Titans. 20 to 16. Um, let's see. My boy Jamar Chase, he ain't play the other day. I thought so. I thought he was out and shit. Uh, and they still got it done. He been kind of injured this season, but hopefully he's straight for playoff time. He gonna be ready and shit, playoff time. Because I know, I know we gonna make it. We gonna win that motherfucking division. And we gonna be in the playoffs. Um, we ain't gonna get the bye week, though. We gonna be wild card in it. Because I know the fucking Chiefs is gonna be there. Probably... The, uh, the motherfucking leader of the AFC. So they're going to have that bye week. But, you know, shit, the Bengals, we're going to do our thing, though. And shit, hopefully we make it back to the Super Bowl. Shit, if not, at least conference finals. And shit, conference champ. But if we make it to the Super Bowl, we better get that dub, though. But uh, nonetheless, from week 12, though, these Sunday games, because we talked about Thursday games the other day. Uh... Let's see, shit. We got Steelers against the Colts. Steelers won 24 to 17. Eagles beat the Packers on Sunday. And shit, 40 to 33. Now, with that game, that might have been Aaron Rodgers' last game in fucking Green Bay. Because he went down with a rib injury and shit. Jordan Love came in. I know Jordan Love had threw a touchdown. He did solid. They still lost. Because they was getting their ass popped. But he was kind of bringing them back, though. Jordan Love was somewhat bringing him back. Um, and they might just go based on that. Like, the Packers is pretty much already eliminated from playoff contention. I think they're like, what the fuck is they record? Let me see. They four and something. Green Bay is, is it going to show me? Let's see, conference. Green Bay right now is sitting four and eight. So they pretty much done. The only way, let me see what they, yeah, they done, they done, that shit, cause I was gonna say, like, if they, uh, if they motherfucking division was trashed, then they could possibly make it, but the Vikings sit at the top of their division at 9 and 2, so their shit's pretty much done, like, the only way they can make it in is, like, the Bucks, man, like, the NFC South, so, like, the good thing about the Bucks, the division that we in and shit, even though they been losing, they still the top of the fucking division, pretty much, because the division's so trash. If you win the division, automatically you win the playoffs. And I think if Tom Brady make it to the playoffs, it's a wrap for whoever they play. Nigga. And shit, when you get playoff Brady up in there, it's, it's gonna be problems. Um, But back to them scores, though. Uh, Like I said, Green Bay, they had lost to the Eagles and shit. Probably Aaron Rodgers' last game. 
but we'll see. Let's see who else. Uh, Seahawks lost to the Raiders. The Raiders at one, 40 to 34. Uh, you got 49ers beat the Saints. That's expected. Chiefs beat the Rams. That's expected. Uh, Chargers beat the Cardinals, 25 to 24. I mean, I expect the Cardinals to lose. Yeah. So, that's expected. Um, shit, the Jaguars beat the Ravens, 28-27. to 27. Shit, I love that because the Ravens in the same division as my Bengals. So, shit, we need the Ravens to lose. So, we can go ahead and win the division and, you know, shit, make things a little simpler for us. Um with Lamar too like I don't know if Lamar gonna sign back with the Ravens unless they do something phenomenal like during the fucking uh, offseason I don't know if he signed back with them cause shit I just don't think they got the receiving core and certain other things that they missing and shit I, I don't see it he probably goes somewhere else uh, but we'll see though never know what else? Uh, Panthers beat the Broncos 23-10. to 10. Uh, The Dolphins beat the Texans 30-15. to 15. The Dolphins been kind of looking good and shit. Tua been solid. Tyreek been doing his thing. Leading the league in yards and shit. He said he got a new QB, but he don't give a fuck. He doing his thing. I feel it. Salute to that boy, Reek. Um, and shit, because that, that's another thing. I think people thought he was only like up there as far as like wide receiver wise because he had Patrick Mahomes throwing to him but he's showing that like nah he is the best receiver in the league and shit it's a reason why he was you know up there and shit highly coveted and shit so salutes to him uh the commanders they beat the Falcons 19 to 30 I surprised because shit both teams is trash and the Falcons can lose because shit, they in the same division as my Bucks. So shit, they need to lose out. Uh, and what else from Sunday? Shit, uh, the Jets beat the Bears 31 to 10. That ain't bad. Yeah, shit. That ain't bad. So yeah, that's Sunday and Monday's game right there and shit for you. Now, let's talk about week 13. I'm going to go ahead and get my picks right now. Let's start it with Thursday Night Football. We got the Bills coming in, going against the Patriots on Thursday. I'm going to go with... I expect the Bills to win it. And all the reason why is because the Patriots are going through rebuilding mode. Shit, the Bills, they should be contenders. More than likely, they sit at 8-3, and three, while the Patriots sit at 6-5. and five. So, I would expect the Bills to come out with the dub. Oh. Um, Division rivals. Um, I'm always gonna fuck with the Patriots, but they're taking that L this week. Let's see, we got the Chiefs against the Bengals this week. Of course, I'm riding with the Bengals. And shit, that's Sunday. Um, that's gonna be a good game. I can't wait to watch that. But my money on the Bengals, though. We beat them in the conference. Uh, beat them in the conference finals. Y'all see, Tennessee was. Uh, we had to play them in the divisional round last year. We beat them this past week. We finna beat the team that we beat to go to the Super Bowl motherfucking this week. And shit. Let's go. We got the Buccaneers against the Saints. Now the Saints have typically had our number. But the Bucks, we beating the Saints this week. Guaranteed. Um, we got the Ravens against the Broncos. I'm gonna put the Ravens over the Broncos. You got, uh, and these are Sunday games. Uh, and then also that Bucks against the Saints that's Monday shit just to make that clear but back to Sunday though so Ravens against the Broncos let's say I'm gonna put my money on the Ravens got Texas against the Browns and that's oh yeah Deshaun Watson coming back to play his own team put my money on the Browns um Commanders against the Giants they both said seven and, well Giants are seven and four Commanders seven and five I mean, shit, they both playing solid. I, I ain't gonna hold you. But Giants, probably. We gonna rock with them and shit. Uh, you got the Jags against the Lions. I'm gonna go with the Lions. 
out Vikings against the Jets, Vikings, Packers against the Bears, two trash teams, but I'm going to say the Packers, so, Steelers against the Falcons, uh, Steelers, Titans against the Eagles, Eagles, yeah, Eagles, because the Titans, I don't know, they shysty and shit, uh, you got the Fins against the 49ers. That's going to be a good one. I'm going to say... Because the 49ers might be able to squeeze that out. I, I don't know. They might be able to squeeze that out. That's a toss up. I ain't got no pick for that one. That's a tough one. Yeah, that's a tough one. Um, fuck it, I'ma just say the Dolphins. Actually, I'ma rock with yeah, I'ma rock with the Dolphins. I'ma rock with the Dolphins. Uh, Seahawks against the Rams. I'ma put the Hawks over the Rams. Got Chargers against the Raiders. I'ma go Chargers over Raiders. And you got the Colts against the Cowboys. Uh, the Cowgirls gonna win that one. Um, let's see what else the NFL wise been going. Oh yeah, Odell was on the plane and shit. He got kicked off a flight. They said he was like, he refused to put on a seatbelt or something. I don't know. They said that he was like in and out of consciousness. Like, but his representative said that shit, he was taking a nap. But when he woke up, shit, they was pretty much kicking him off the plane and shit. Now, I don't know. Like, I know before when I done got on there, I literally, from the moment I sat down, I was already going to sleep. Now, he probably on some. He might have either been drunk or he might have took a pill. I know a lot of, like, high-profile people, when you get to that point, like, shit, you might need this Xanax to chill down and shit. Your average person ain't finna just pay to get those Xanax, probably. I mean, you do got normal niggas that fucking pop them and shit, but a lot of normal niggas ain't really getting on planes. But shit, you might, you know, shit. Here and there, you might find that motherfucker that's taking them and shit. But I have heard that that he might have been on the Zandies. I guess he's been known to take them to calm down and shit. Now, he might have just been tired and shit. I'm like, that's the more reasonable way. I done got on a plane where I'm fucking in and out of sleep. And what I do typically, though, is I just throw on my seatbelt as soon as I sit down and shit. So if I'm asleep before we even take off, because I think shit, it was like that the last time I got on. I was dumbass tired coming back from uh, Florida. And I'm like, shit, I'm about to just throw on my seatbelt because I might be asleep before we even pull off <laughs> and shit. And uh, I mean, I've always been straight. And that's probably what he should have just did. But more news will come out about it. I mean, I don't think it's nothing for real. He should be straight. Uh, oh, and looking at this, I guess Rogers plan to play week 13 and shit. Um, he said as long as he's available to play, then he planned to be out there on the field. But ultimately, it come down to the team, and they might let him play. They just signed him back to a fat-ass contract. But I think he might get traded. I think he going to end up asking for a trade, and they going to abide by that. Uh, what else? Shit, it ain't shit else that I care about. Yeah, that's all the NFL news I got for the day, because I ain't tripping on nothing else. Um, what else? Uh, NBA-wise, should I seen Kemba Walker. He signed with the Mavericks. Um, I forgot about that match. I think he was on the... Who was he? Nah, he was on the Celtics a couple of years ago. Then he went to... Who did he play for after the Celtics? Yeah, he done fell off tremendously. There was a point that, that nigga was a beast, but he done fell off crazy and shit. But uh, he gonna be with the Mavs. I mean, I know he was like the type to get buckets. Damn, you know what? He should have signed with the Lakers. We probably could, but well, we got too many point guards. But we probably could have used them though. Um, but he with them. Um, I'm seeing Carl Anthony Towns. He out four to six weeks with a right calf strain. Timberwolves been playing shitty though. 
they traded for Rudy Gobert, they expected to do big things, but they've been doing small things and shit. I know Anthony Edwards was saying that they was playing soft, and he might have been calling out their big man. Because I, since they first joined up, I've been here. Gobert really soft. Carl Anthony Towns, soft. He been getting played, called soft for years. They've been, you know, attacking that man. Shit. Play harder, my nigga. Shit. But he injured now, though, so. Shit, uh. We'll see. I mean, Carl Anthony Towns, he's straight, but. When he come back, he better be a, like a menace if he expect them to do anything and shit. Oh, uh, what else? Los Angeles. We have been playing straight, though. You should you know, Brian came back the other day, put in work. Uh, I know yesterday they lost to the Pacers, though. They had that lead. And I swear, this is the thing that the Lakers did so much last season. They have a decent lead and somehow lose that shit. I swear I would look at the fourth quarter too many times they up by 20 points and then I look back at the end of the game and just say that they done lost. And I'm like, hell, they'll lose by 10 when it was up 20. How you let them come back and score 30 unanswered points? And the let, bro, come on now. That's when the defensive motor definitely got to kick in. Clutch motor got to kick in around that time and shit. But they lost by a point last night though, but I mean, shit, they uh, they might do something eventually. I don't know. I don't know if any trade at this point is going to help them or anything. They might need a... Uh, if they get somebody, they got to be good at shooting and good at defense. So, it's just... I don't know. It's going to be tough. Um, other NBA shit... KD been balling out lately and shit, but they played the Magic. I mean, they should beat them. I think he dropped 45 on them. He should. Uh, yeah. What else? Oh, no, so it's the beginning of the season. Anybody that's going hard right now, shit. Like, I mean, we'll see if they still doing it later on, but that is KD. So, shit, we know he going to always put in work. That, come on, man. Yeah, shit. That's the motherfucking Durantula. We know what he's going to do. I seen Kristaps Przingis. Now this is a name I ain't seen in a minute. This shit, Kristaps Przingis. He uh he put up 41 points, three blocks, two steals, he had six threes, and that was against uh he on the Wizards. Oh, I forgot shit that man on the Wizards, but uh they had beat the Timberwolves the other day. This shit. Um, shit, that's what's up. My nigga fucking getting back to it. Cause Kristaps was supposed to be that dude, and he was that dude up in New York, but then he got injured, and that shit fucked him up. He went to the Mavs. They expected him to step up, but he wasn't stepping up then. But I think he still was trying to work his way back from that injury still, and they wanted him to be the number two man, cause they traded a good amount of shit to get him in Tim Hardaway Jr. and shit, and you know, just he never turned out to be that nigga down there in Dallas. But now that he in. Washington, I think he uh, joined Washington last year and shit. So I mean, maybe now he'll be able to do his thing with Bradley Bill. Um, he ain't gotta be no no main superstar still. Like I said, shit, they got Bradley Bill over there. So uh, you know he should be able to do his thing. Uh, what else? Uh, let me see if I see anything else worthy of talking about NBA wise. Before I get into some other stuff. Uh, uh, let's see. <laughs> uh, let me check out what the hot couple was talking about. And if y'all ain't never seen that hot couple, that's Chris Broussard, Rob Parker, they podcast. I'll, I'll mess with that. I'll be listening to their stuff. Shit, damn near every day. I gotta listen to them. First thing first with my nigga Rick Nick Wright on there. And shit, Chris Broussard on that too. Mac Wilds, bro. Mac Wilds, man. No, no, that's, that's his name. Yeah, yeah. Or Wilds. <laughs> and shit. Uh, Mac Wilds might be that one, though. Let me see. Uh, first thing, bro. What's brand name on there? Uh, 
Kevin Wiles. <laughs> I call that man Mac Wiles. I, I I know who Mac Wiles is. But uh Kevin Wiles though. Him, Chris Broussard, motherfucking Nick Wright, bro. They got a good combo though. I'll fucks with them and shit. Uh, they you know what? Fucking Kevin Wiles can go ahead and, and change his name to Mac Wiles, you know why? Cause Kevin Wiles, bro, that's my nigga on there. He definitely will be invited to the barbecue this shit. That nigga be fucking saucy and shit on there. Like I, I mess with my boy Kevin Wiles and shit. He come with the hot takes and shit. Then he be quoting like yelling hip hop shit though. And uh, he might be like, yeah, my favorite Lil Wayne lyric. But you know I don't fuck with Wayne on there. Or he might be like, uh, he even said shit. Who was it? My favorite. Uh, might have been like ludicrous or somebody it was somebody so off the wall that i was not necessarily expecting him to say and shit and i was like okay okay my nigga wow's really fuck with some shit my nigga wow's fuck with some shit okay i, I can dig it i can dig it um but shit what up what was it uh oh mike vick this nfl shit though you know fuck that i ain't i ain't touching back on nfl we done with that today uh Let's see. Yeah, like I said, I don't really see anything basketball wise. For real. I mean, I think we talked about Kawhi Leonard. Shit, him being out. We ain't really seen that, man. Yeah, I think I talked about that uh, last week or so. So, uh, on to the next motherfucking thing and shit. I just wasted, what, like five minutes doing that shit. Um, oh, actually, Brittany Grinder. We're going to talk about her. Update on her. I don't think I really ever discussed her. But now I'm seeing, uh, what was it? They was talking about, uh, she got transferred into another place or something. She was saying she got to deal with, uh, homophobic and racism and 16 hour work days. Cause I guess, like, they prisons over there, it's kind of like how it used to be here. They throwing you out there on the chain gang, you doing hard labor and shit. Like, which I will say this if she in prison, I mean, it's, it's prison. It's going to be harsh punishment in any country. In a lot of other countries, that shit going to be worse than it is here. Um, it's fucked up. I, I, I say, man, I hate jail for anybody just because even the very limited days that I did it, man, I would have dreams that I'm at home and shit. And it's shitty to wake up and you ain't there. Like, it's shitty to have to go do some shit that you don't want to do. Like, literally, like, you have zero desire to do that shit. Also, the homophobia, I ain't surprised that she facing that up in there. They do not like gay people in Russia. Like, for real, people that live here in the United States, y'all lucky y'all don't live in a lot of other places. A lot of other places do not tolerate half the shit that go on. The homophobia, how women want to be slut, uh, not homophobia, like people being gay, people being sluts, like women, the way that they dress and shit, women talking crazy, bro, you go to hella other countries, they will fucking stone that female to death, cause the female ain't got no rights, and shit, that's it, which is fucked up, bro, that's some fucked up shit, I don't fuck with that, like, I can't agree with it, but, it's the harsh reality of what really goes on in life and shit and the way that shit has been for years shit used to be like that here too people forget less than a hundred years ago a dude could smack their fucking female in the face you could smack your wife up not no problems going on that female gonna shut the fuck up and take her ass in the kitchen and do what the fuck she's supposed to do and shit nowadays is different and shit she experiencing racism, Brittany Grinder, and she experiencing racism over there. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. You somewhere where it's predominantly white people, we deal with that shit here. If you was to go to a predominantly white prison, guaranteed your ass is gonna be getting called nigger left and right, nigger, 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 left and right and shit. Sorry, this episode is a little explicit and shit. You got young kids at home watching this. But this is the harsh realities of fucking life and shit. That is the way that life goes. Um, it's tough, man. 
and shit. I'm not going to say that hopefully she get free. Uh, how many years she get now? Yeah, I don't think nine years, you know, is that's crazy for that. But going into another country, you know, shit, they got certain laws that you got to abide by. You see LaMelo Ball and his friends, bro, they almost was finna face life because when I'm trying to steal a watch from the stove, like, trust, bro, you not, you know, it, I think it was a watch, yeah. Trust, like, you're not facing no life over here in America for that. maybe five years, depending on the price, because shit, it's a felony based on, like, if it's more than a thousand dollars that you done stole, I think that's a felony, at least here in the state of Ohio. It's shit, so, you know, man, it's just, uh, she gotta stay strong. Keep her head up, shit. Be niggas' asses if they on that fuck shit. They on that homophobic shit, beat they ass shit. Um, hopefully she be straight, shit. Um, hopefully she be straight. Hopefully her family straight. Condolences to them, you know. I said it's tough. Anybody go to prison? Uh, I don't think she ever gonna get out for real for a minute. And shit, you got people that's divided. Uh, you know, shit, you got some people that say shit, keep her ass locked up. Some people say free her. Like I said, for me, I put it like this. Like, I've done shit where I know better than to do. Or I ain't gonna necessarily say that I know better. But I know the consequences if I come in contact with police officers or authorities, period. Like, like if uh, when I just went out of town a few months ago and we had to go to the airport, I would have been a stupid motherfucker to have a weed in my carry-on bag. I would have been a stupid motherfucker to leave the cotties in my pocket or anything like that. I have to be a stupid motherfucker to keep my vape pen and my shit knowing that you can't take a fucking vape pen on a plane because the battery could be possibly an explosive and shit. I would have to be a stupid motherfucker to do that and shit. And I feel like anytime you're traveling, you're doing whatever, you got to look at the laws. I'm pretty sure her people knew and shit. They knew she should have known better than to do that. Come on now, you've been going there how long? You should have known better to do that stupid shit. Fuck the politics being involved. It probably is all political on why they hold her. I'm not even going to hold you. But if you know it's like that, you got to move smarter. That's she was moving stupid and shit and i've been told you play stupid games you win stupid motherfucking prizes and she got a stupid motherfucking prize and shit but hopefully she prevailed through that shit you know uh what else another motherfucker that was arrested my boy israel adesanya of course he got out already shit he got arrested here in america for brass knuckles at the airport. Brass knuckles is illegal pretty much any place you go into a metal detector because you could swing on anybody with that with that shit and kill them. But he keep them brass knucks, I guess. You never know. A nigga might try to walk up on some shit. He know he's slushing shit left and right. Also, what he had just fought, because this was like last week, so he had just fought. Hands probably still hurting, nigga. You know, shit, you might not have that same power and shit. <laughs> need it i used to have the brass knucks where at one point in time it should have been years ago until my shit fucked up on my need a new pair but i used to keep them because bro i swear but one i had beef with some people that i was gonna do some damage on i'm not gonna hold you and shit but also it's like let a motherfucking test me bro walk up you finna get socked with these motherfucking brass knuckles and shit um also, my nigga John Cena, like, I want to be like him. Shit, my nigga John Cena used to have the brass knuckles back in the day, nigga. Uh, so I was like, shit, nigga, we finna rumble with these brass knuckles, though. And shit, boy, Izzy got out, though. Shit, shit, salute to him, the style bender. Uh, let's talk about some WWE news now before I end this show. Uh, Survivor Series, that was fucking, what was that, Saturday? I, I be forgetting, man, that they be fucking doing pay-per-views on Saturdays half the time now and shit. I forgot that they changed up the day from Sunday. And I guess because, like, it kind of don't go against 
uh, if it's on Saturday all the time, and they never interfere with Sunday night football. It's just so uh, they eliminate that competition. Also, it won't interfere with, uh, say, if like an award show come on, because the award show always pretty much come on on Sundays, or it's gonna be some random day throughout the week. But they pay per views won't interfere with that. And then also, I think because it gives their talent like a day off in between the pay per view and then having to go back to Monday Night Raw and shit. The ones that do gotta work that like it ain't give them at least a day off and shit. You know. The, recoup versus having to stress them and shit to get to the next place even though typically after every pay-per-view that monday night raw is in the same city and shit um but you know shit survivor series i had watched it though that was sunday and uh should i fuck with it like let me uh just go back to the winners in particular and shit just so i can make sure i'm getting everything right but i know that female like it was war games for any of y'all that wrestling fans that have watched that shit fucking 15 shit probably longer than that 20 years ago y'all know about the fucking war games that originated in wcw and shit but they brought it to wwe a few years ago it uh was a nxt thing but now that shit is smackdown and raw they had it survivor series you know traditionally survivor series uh is always the elimination matches and shit that used to pretty much be the thing, but now the thing really got a, um, what is it, uh, the brand warfare, like Raw and SmackDown ain't really beefing, it's kind of like harder for them to really get that going these days, because it's not as much stake in that, like, they got people that's on both brands, kind of, so it's kind of hard, you know, with them teetering back and forth, but, uh, they, I mean, they could even do it with, like, beefs, because I remember, what was that, like, 2007 hella elimination matches but it was like all right dx they was feuding with rated rko but then they had cm punk on their team that was feuding with was it that mike knox dude and then they had uh matt and jeff hardy on their team that was feuding with uh who was it it was somebody they was feuding with but like shit i'm like they could do shit like that though but i fucked with this though it started off with the female war games match though and uh only problem with that man is like some of them fucking moves like i don't want to say they botched them but like it just seemed like they fucking they trying to be so goddamn careful like it just don't make no sense like some of the moves just seemed like they was going so slow instead of it being fast paced and it looked like it's being intense like it seemed like a lot of them was pulling the punches and shit, which, I mean, that's cool. I guess you don't want to injure the other person. And, you know, WWE probably is way more, like, uh, conscious on, you know, trying to protect their performers and shit. So that makes sense. But uh, for me, I'm like, shit, bro, I like that high-octane wrestling. Like, bro, when that shit was always intense. Like, but, um, shit. Bianca, what's her name? Bianca Belair, her team had won. It was her, Becky Lynch, Asuka, uh, Mia Yim, and Alexa Bliss. Alexa Bliss, she always look good on there. I can't hold you. Shit. It's blissful seeing Alexa Bliss. I'm not gonna hold you. <laughs> uh, Bianca Belair, too, though. I'm like, damn, her. she got the abs hardcore, though. Shouts out there. She putting in that work in the gym. And shit, I can dig it. Next match on there was Finn Balor against AJ Styles. Uh, Finn Balor got his own little crew. AJ Styles got his crew. You know shit. Anybody that know me, I'm going to tell you. AJ Styles, motherfucking the phenomenal one. This shit. It's one of the best wrestlers ever. This shit, period, nigga. Period. Best wrestlers ever. This shit right now, definitely always one of the top ones. Uh, but he had beat Finn Balor during that match. That match was straight. And shit, I, I was digging it. I miss any AJ Styles matches always gonna be solid. And then like Finn Balor, he pretty uh, solid too in the ring. Shit, it was one point in time like he was that dude, and I know people was like really hype on him. But then he had a uh, he tore his rotator cuff. That was back in 2016, and it seemed like since Finn Balor tore his shit back then, like his career ain't been the same like that derailed him completely because he was the universal champ he was the inaugural one he had won against seth rollins back then and shit but he was injured 
and he's a smaller guy, so like, you know, Vince was running this shit back then, uh, and Vince felt like she tried to give a smaller guy the opportunity, and his body couldn't hold up and shit, and, you know, Vince McMahon loved the big fucking jack dudes, them with the tight dudes, that's always the main dudes, that's why Roman Reigns is in the position he is now, good shit. But uh, nonetheless, though, AJ Styles beat my man, so uh, Finn Balor the other day. And then uh, Ronda Rousey versus Shotzi. I mean, I only know who that Shotzi chick is from uh, the game, for real. Like, playing uh, that WWE 2K. But I pretty much skipped through that match. I ain't even gonna hold you. And shit, I already knew Ronda Rousey was gonna more than likely win. Unless Ronda Rousey going against, like, a formidable ass like opponent like he gotta be a Becky Lynch or a Sasha Banks or something like that like it's pretty much a guarantee that Ronda Rousey gonna win and shit uh, and it's funny though like they was calling her the baddest woman on the planet and all that shit like she wouldn't say that shit if Amanda Nunes was there cause Amanda Nunes rocked her ass and shit made her quit the UFC and that, that's the only thing with this like Ronda Rousey so cocky in there bro you fucking ran from the UFC bro you, I don't see how you that cocky like and that's the thing like I don't even feel like to me personally I can't take her as serious as I would have had she she lost to Holly Holm decisively got her ass beat in the UFC fought Amanda Nunes what was that like a year later after it took her a while to finally fucking come back got her ass beat the fuck up bruh by Amanda Nunes when I say her ass got beat she was crying in the ring after that and they never fought in the UFC again and shit Amanda Nunes made her ass quit MMA altogether Shit, so she ain't the baddest female and shit on the planet. She ain't the best wrestler. Cut that shit out. But WWE is gonna hype her ass something like that shit. Cause she got name recognition. But she probably beat my ass in the fight. I'm not gonna go Shit, she gonna train up to me. <laughs> like, nah, I'll cunt punch that bitch in the heartbeat. <laughs> Sign out. But she'll probably judo flip me shit. Whatever judo flip me shit, it hit me with the arm bar, some shit. She, she kind of strong. I mean, she trained up. So yeah. um, but uh, I say Ronda Rousey probably gonna hold the belt till they'll probably make Becky Lynch fight her or something like that. And Becky Lynch should beat her for the title. Or Sasha Banks been gone for a minute. Sasha Banks probably come back and beat her. It's gonna be somebody high profile like that. What else? Seth Rollins versus Bobby Lashley versus Austin Theory. Uh, that match, it was cool. Like a triple threat. Like Seth Rollins, bro. That, first of all, Seth Rollins, that, that's my favorite wrestler and shit right now. Like, shit, I feel like he is the best wrestler right now. He definitely up there in that list, top 10 greatest of all time and shit. He got the fucking moves, the charisma on the mic. Like, when I say shit, the motherfucker that can challenge him technically like in the ring on some technical shit doing the moves maybe it's Shawn Michaels and Shawn Michaels ain't on that flippity flip shit like that or AJ Styles is another nigga like cause AJ Styles is like Shawn Michaels 2.0 but Shawn Michaels wasn't on that flippity flip shit though and the only people that can kind of compare cause Shawn Michaels bro that's the greatest wrestler of all time bro hands down like nobody was better in the ring than Shawn motherfucking Michaels and shit he is the greatest when it comes to wrestling and shit. And then you got some other people underneath him. But when it comes to how you move in the ring, it ain't nobody better than HBK and shit. And the closest people to it, how they move in the ring and shit, when you package in everything else. So you got ring work, you got mic work, you got crowd of uh, how you appeal to the crowd and shit like that. Cause you got people like Dolph Ziggler who he's a good wrestler and shit, but he's a fucking Shawn Michaels ripoff of wannabe type nigga. He is still Shawn Michael moves and all that shit. Try to wear the same type of attire, outfit, have his hair the same, do the same move. Like bro, like find your own gimmicks, man. Like and that's what Seth Rollins was able to do. And AJ Styles, he did the same thing as he was making the name for himself in TNA. But no, uh, nonetheless though. 
it was a triple threat match. Seth Rollins versus Bobby Lashley versus Austin Theory for the United States title. Seth Rollins came in defending the title. That match, I fucked with it and shit. But I figured I would. But long story short, that Austin Theory motherfucker, he ended up winning. And shit, uh, on some shit where, like, Seth Rollins, he pretty much had it in the bag. He hit, uh, Austin Theory with the motherfucking superplex that he was finna go for that Falcon Arrow after that. Then Bobby Lashley came in, speared Seth Rollins, and Austin Theory fell on top of him and had the pin and shit. You know that Fugazi shit. So Theory is now the uh, United States champion. But we'll see how long that lasts. They might give him a little run. Who knows? Uh, this should set up Seth Rollins going that world title run. My guy. Seth Rollins need to be the fucking world champ right now. Roman Reigns got two belts, but he can lose one of them. Because I don't, I can't really see nobody beating Roman for the belt. I ain't gonna hold him. I think that nigga need to have that shit for like five years. Eight. Shit, Bruno San Martino had that shit for like eight years. So shit, Roman Reigns had already had it for over two years. If they make him lose it at Mania or something like that, it'd be damn near three. But I, I think he should have it to like... They need to have him with the belt to like 2025. Solidify this shit. It will never be another motherfucker that have another longer reign than him or nothing. Never will be another more dominant champion. And shit. Roman Reigns needs to be that guy. And shit. He is that guy. And shit. Definitely. Uh, what else though? Shit. Oh, lastly. Speaking of Roman Reigns though. Shit, the last match was uh that men's war game match. Which it was Seth Rollins. Not why the fuck was I finna say Seth Rollins? It was Roman Reigns. He got his team called the Bloodline, which is him, Jimmy and Jay Uso. Uh, which you know the Usos, they've been around for a minute. Shit, longer than Roman Reigns. And shit, they've been around for a long time. Uh, I remember when they first came in and they had uh, Tamina with them, cause that's one of their cousins too. She used to escort them to the ring and she like a powerhouse as well but she don't wrestle as much no more but uh um, shit this is them they got a their younger brother he in wwe now named solo what's his name solo sokoa and bro look like uh he got a face like they dad which is rikishi but bro remind me of umaga so much which is umaga is their uncle and shit like I swear, bro, remind me of Umaga so fucking much, like, bro, like, he damn near got the same tats, like, he built like that nigga Umaga and everything, I'm like, bro, and I think one of the announcers did say that on there, yeah, he giving me a Samoan Bulldozer vibes right now, I'm like, bro, yeah, exactly, that's the same thing I got from, they could have made my man's Umaga 2.0, and the story would have played out perfectly, because he could be like, yeah, bro, I'm just following in my uncle's footsteps, shit, he was a bulldozer, I'm gonna be a bulldozer just like him. But bro was on that vicious shit though. Uh, they went against uh, who else? They had Sami Zayn on their team too. Which Sami Zayn, I fucked with him. Sami Zayn, nah, I didn't always rocked with him since shit. He was in NXT and shit. He always reminded me of uh, a skinny Seth Rogen and shit. He funny and everything up there like he funny. And then of course Roman Reigns was on their team. Uh, they went against Sheamus. I'm surprised. Like Sheamus, he got a career resurgence probably. He been around for like what? 15 years or so I remember he came in he beat John Cena in that tables match and shit and won the title like that was like his first pay-per-view and I'm like bro the fuck this fucking uh, pale ass motherfucker Seamus but he straight though that bro kick vicious I ain't gonna lie to that, that motherfucking bro kick that shit vicious and shit uh, but shit it was Seamus Drew McIntyre, y'all niggas know Drew McIntyre, the chosen one, uh, Kevin Owens, Big KO, uh, and shit, this motherfucker Butch, which Butch, his name was, uh, Pete Dunn and shit, they changed his name a few months ago, but he's a good technician from the UK and shit, they call him the bruiser weight, but his, his skills is, like, good in the ring and shit, uh, and some dude named Rich Holland, which that motherfucker look like Rob Gronkowski out there or something, nigga. That motherfucker built the good shit, hitting motherfucker with that shoulder block and shit. I'm like, damn. That motherfucker look like shit. They said he played uh, rugby or something like that. I 
I'm like, he probably was smacking the fuck out of motherfuckers. Cause that, that's a big boy and shit. But, uh, shit, the bloodline got that W at the end. That was, that match was 40 minutes long. It was a hell of a match. Uh, many good spots in there, shit. I expect the bloodline should get that W just to cement their dominance. Like, it's the one, they need to make it so clear. Like, bro, it's never been a faction more dominant than them. Shit. Next, they need to have, like, a, because I guess Sheamus got his little faction or his little stable where it's him, that uh, Rich Holland dude, and Butch. They're, uh, what the fuck is they called? I forget the name of his shit, but they are from the UK. Though, so like that's why they got their team and shit. Um, y'all check out the Survivor Series Peacock if y'all got it. If not, I know a website called VIP Box. Y'all can search that up on Google. Uh, it'll take you to the right spot. You'll be able to watch that shit on there. If not, kick ass torrents, download that shit. But um, <laughs> that's all I got for today, though. But let's talk sports and um. Anytime it's a wrestling pay-per-view, I'm going to be talking about that shit out here. I, I can't really keep up with the Monday Night Raws and the Friday Night Smackdowns and shit like that. But any big wrestling news and pay-per-views, this is the motherfucking spot to come to. But I'm your boy Dash Cash. Till the next time. There's still the place where we always going to say what the fuck we want to say. And we're going to do what the fuck we want to do. <laughs> Peace.